So we're going to do an example called the hot sauce example. It's on the syllabus that says that it's really not found in a book, but it shows you the spirit of finding the E of X in a real life example so far where the numbers are not given to you on a silver platter. So imagine the following scenario. Somebody is, is thinking of, of, of um, working in the summer in a ballpark selling hot dogs, which is why it's called a hot dog example. And the guy got to make a decision, should I do it or not do it? Of course, the decision is based on a lot of factors, but mainly, will he make money or she make money? OK, the girls sell hot dogs? I don't know if that's true. Any, any hot dog girl hot dog vendors? Probably some, but OK. Um, so here's the numbers. The amount of profit he or she makes depends upon the weather. If it's like a really nice weekend or a nice day in the ballpark, people are out, a lot of people are out there, people are buying hot dogs, and you can make a lot of money. If it's lousy weather, then you can't make too much money because there'll be nobody sitting there, nobody's ordering hot dogs, you're not going to make any money. Now, do you lose money? Yes, because in order to, each time you go to the ballpark, you got to pay like $40, either a bribe, or you got to buy a uniform, you got to pay a license, you got to pay $40. So if you just pay out $40 and then nobody shows up that day, you make $5, what do you lose? You lost $35. You, you pay $40, you made $5 of tips or whatever, and you, and you lost $35. If it's great weather, then you can make $100, and if you make $100, how much do you really make? If you, if you get $100 worth of tips, how much do you really make? 100 minus 40, because it costs you $40 just to get in, so it's $60. Now, what are the chances of the weather? Can you have nice weather, medium weather, great weather, terrible weather? Yes, in real life, you've got to have a whole range of possibilities, but to make it simple, we'll make it two possibilities. And it's not to be confused with the binomial. You see, the good weather or bad weather? Good weather or bad weather? Okay, so, and the chance of good weather is 70%. That's the first number to write down. Do I have to tell you the chance of bad weather? No. No, because no, you're going to want to figure it out. Everybody knows that. Now, if it's good weather, you're going to make $100. I mean, you're gonna, the gross will be $100, which means how much do you really make? 60. 60. If it's bad weather, you're going to make $30, which means how much do you really make? Minus 10, so everybody knows the numbers. Now the question is, if you do this day after day, week after week, week after the whole summer, where there's sometimes it's rain, sometimes it's bad weather, how much money would you make on the average? Now some weeks you come back with, with $70, $60. Other weeks you come back with minus $10. But if you average everybody together, if you figured out the E of X under those conditions, what would you make? Now for those of you who are a little bit more mathematically advanced or just relax, you just work it out, you'll probably get the answer in 30 seconds. And the answer. Just do it, work this out as a homework problem, put it on the board, and we'll go over it. Uh, Scott, while you were away, we were talking about you in your example over there. We covered it. You're, Did I, you're, you're famous. I meant to say, when I wrote total 1.5, I was supposed to square root that, right? Which 1.5 time? For the square root of 1. 1.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 This calculation, we're using x minus the mu, the x minus the mu. Oh, once I get the total of all that, do I square this, this, so, what did, so what did she calculate? She calculated the variance. This yeah. one point is a, then if you want to get the standard, so it's right for the variance, but if you want to get the additional standard deviation, then you've got to get the square root of 1.5. So that's, that's correct as well. OK. That's, the, so that's, that, that's your first introduction to a somewhat, again, a relatively easy example. But it's your first introduction to the application of the E of X formula, which, again, we'll go over at the beginning of next week, uh, next Wednesday, Wednesday, and et cetera. In the remaining five minutes, I want to give you the parts of the spitter assignments that we covered so far that I'd like you to try to do. Um, um, so I'm trying to think. What so, is the question sorry, for yes, the hot dog? Say again? So what's, what do you want us to answer? Come up with an E of X. Oh. How much money do you make? It might be a minus 10 or plus 25. I don't know, some, some number like that. What's the final? The answer will be a single number. After all these little, you have to, basically, you've got to set up your X and your P of X and multiply them and get an answer. I'm sure some of you even did that already. But if you have any questions, see me at the class. And